I'm Lady Aska and today we want to talk about the new bodysuit feature in Vroid Studio. And especially how to create chibis with this function. Let's get started. In Vroid Studio we find the new bodysuit feature under Outfit and then under the Inner Top section. Just go to Custom and Create New to be able to select the bodysuit. Now we got a bunch of sliders here on the right to play around with and change how the bodysuit looks on our model. If you wanted to use the bodysuit as a second skin, you would now be able to alter the shape of your body way more than the body sliders let you. Sadly, I can't show that without having a constant sensor bar on the model and this is why we will go for the chibi today, as this will obviously alter our look to the most extreme possible. I only made one chibi with the bodysuit so far, so this is actually only my second attempt. As you see here with the expand bodysuit sliders and the increased body bulk options, we can make our avatar look like they're stuck in a mascot outfit. Of course, to get the typical chibi look, we need to first shrink our avatar's body under body. But remember, just shrinking us down here won't turn us into a chibi automatically. Find a size that you like and then increase the head. Because if I know one thing about chibis, then it's that they got giant oversized heads. Again, just increasing the size to the max won't do here. You can roughly think about a chibi as being one third head and the rest is body. You can make slimmer chibis by making the head one fourth of the total body height as well, but I wouldn't go above that. All that has to be reflected in your build of course and I'm also mostly experimenting with the sizes here till I get a good result. Back in the outfit category, we work our way through the options. There are so many ways to go about this, so I won't tell you that there is only one method and that's how you have to do it. Actually, with the bodysuit you have to keep in mind that it can very well be that clothes in Vroid won't work anymore on the model. And that's why you can plan the clothes as textures directly on the body. You see here that you can literally create the look of skirts and trousers like this already, which would then just miss a fit in texture on it to look the part. Funny enough, all the sliders who say flatten in the front do basically the exact opposite. They can increase the bulk on certain sections and make them stick less to the body as a second skin, so don't get misled by the name. The butt is a good example where flatten increase the butt size, but it looks more like someone pumping some air into the suit, because the form of the butt cheeks get flattened out and don't stay on as close as an actual skin type bodysuit. You can see it even better on the arms, where the suit loses its shape between upper and lower arm and looks now more like a unified section. One of the weirder features is the stretch finger sliders, which turns your finger into claws. Increasing finger bulk makes the hands look more like you stole a glove from a certain cartoon character and the rest of the sliders focus on the feet. I honestly wanted to get rid of the feet at this point, because while my first chibi model had giant feet, I wanted this one to have little pointed legs basically. I promise this will make sense in a bit. Of course, you can't actually get rid of the feet, but you can at least make it seem like they aren't there, which is exactly the solution I came up with. I deleted the feet texture on the bodysuit and the actual body and decided against the trouser look that I had previously set. Instead, I wanted to make her look like she would be wearing a kind of jacket in the final version. That's why I increased the bulk around the shoulders and arms accordingly. All this was a bit experimental on my part as well, so really go crazy with the sliders and create a cool base form for your little chibi model first. Now it was time for some texture work and while I would have loved to give the model a finished look, that would have completely turned this video into a movie. So keep that in mind that I'm just putting down the guidelines for the outfit, so I could potentially finalize it later. That is actually a great moment to talk about this kind of work, because people always ask how artists know exactly where to draw when they create these super elaborate outfits and the simple answer is that they all start out in Vroid and draw themselves some guidelines, like I'm doing now, to know where a certain piece of clothing will be or where a pattern may start. Because then they can just export this version here after and finalize the look outside of Vroid in Photoshop or any other editing software. I admittedly got hugely inspired by the art style of Tower of Fantasy for this one. And no, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just love the art style and find it very inspiring, especially for Vroid creators. 
and because I have to talk about something while you are watching me speedrun this whole process. I mainly work in layers here, so I have it easier when I want to delete a certain part. Remember, with a quick CTRL plus Z, you can undo your actions as well, if something gone absolutely wrong. But sometimes you just changed your mind or want to fix a small mistake that you didn't see in the moment. Keep in mind too that since I basically deleted the feet, I also can't draw on the feet mesh here because the bodysuit texture would overlay my feet and make it look like they're still there. Add some cool little details and maybe some shadows already if you know where you want them to be. And sketch in additional clothes like boots or shoes as well. I just sketch these on roughly and would fix that later when working on the actual texture outside of Vroid. And let's just imagine you're happy with the result after a while and you would have a real overworked, beautiful texture now. One of the last touches are of course to increase the eyes of your model to fit in with the bigger head. You also have to move the eyes and eyebrows a bit lower to get that kind of baby face effect that chibis are known for. After that, it's time to export and test run our new little girl in VC face. If there's one thing I'm not completely happy with, then it would probably be the hands at the moment. They look way too bulky for my taste and on a finalized version, I would probably reduce the size accordingly. I hope you create some adorable little cuties with these techniques. Feel free to tag me on your social media posts if you tried it, as I would love to see your creations. See you guys next time, I hope you have a wonderful day!